welcome to Spend Tarot. I'm Spend back again with another pick a card for you guys. So today we have a pick a card titled Messages from Your Ex Best Friend. So anyone that you consider as a best friend or considered as a best friend once. So it could be a sibling or a friend or a family member. It doesn't really matter. There is no specific as long as you considered them as a best friend at that time before your separation. We're gonna get into what they had to say to you. Um and maybe their thoughts on your life or maybe you know whatever comes through really so i really hope that you enjoyed this reading without wasting time let us get into it i'll meet you at your back hi Pawan. welcome to your reading you chose the seven of pentacles um so i have about like 15 minutes for this reading so let's get into it without wasting time um i'm hearing a song cardboard box um i forgot their names but so maybe for some of you this ex best friend was a lover because i'm also hearing the song tyree's how you gonna act like that um it doesn't have to be and i'm also getting that um for some of you this best friend that is coming through was someone who's very popular um because i'm hearing fancy by iggy azalea and i'm getting an image of the meme girls um so either you were in a group setting of popular friends and you had that one best friend or it could have just been the two of you or the three of you it doesn't really matter but whoever you consider the best friend might have been more popular than you maybe more liked than you or maybe you were the one who's popular but i feel like for most of you um this person was very popular very well liked um and i'm hearing you broke the bro code so that's going to maybe resonate for somebody and i'm also getting an image of breaking all the rules so maybe that has something to do with it maybe um you guys separated because of um, maybe the friendship ended because of a, a third party. Maybe both of you fell for the same person. Um, and I, I keep hearing cardboard box. Um, maybe for some of you, if it is a lover, it was like a scenario from Breaking All the Rules with Gabrielle Union, um, the movie. Um, all right, someone here got married. Um, and if no one got married, there's a scenario of if this person was to get married you'd be the bridesmaid and they'd be the bride so it's like a gumbo and doran type of vibe and i'm always i'm hearing always the bridesmaid and never the bride so maybe you were that 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 person or that energy where you were always like the one who's just like on the side um if it's not a friend maybe even a sister because i'm getting a movie with jennifer aniston so maybe you're just always the one who is just like picked last is it what is that movie with Jennifer Aniston who who is like the oldest sister but then um the younger sister got married first and it's like everyone was making fun of it at a dinner party or something like that. Um I think it was uh, the guy is not into you or something like that. Um so maybe you're always just the one who's picked last or you know compared to that person compared to that ex-friend. Um so yeah. And I heard I hate you. I literally heard I hate you like whispered in my ear. And then I heard the song by Cesar as well. So I don't know if you guys have any resentment towards this person or vice versa. Um, and I heard Meryl Streep. So I don't know who is that specifically for as well. Um, and I keep hearing cardboard box. So maybe this is an X for some of you. Or maybe it's just a friend that you kind of were fed up with. You know, it's just like I'm done trying to be... You know the person on the side for you I'm, I'm i'm done being second best to you um again this person might have been the life of the party as well like i said they were very popular um so divine spirit guides messages from pal one's ex best friend so whoever you consider an ex best friend we have the three of ones messages from pal one's ex best friend Um, three of cups. I'm hearing Get Ugly by Jason Derulo. Since you've been gone, six of cups. I can't breathe. High priestess. Um, is there anything else? I'm still moving on. Matter suits. Thanks to you. Now I get what I want. Um, I feel like for some of you, you've been. I'm also hearing Because of You by Christina Aguilera. So there was a lot of pain within this friendship. Maybe a lot of emotional neglect. Um, one not one person not caring about the other person's emotions and feelings. Um, 
and then we have the ten of swords and the four of wands i'm hearing everything was about you like so take it as it resonates um everything was all about you you know all you cared about was yourself um so it could be them or it could be vice versa where maybe you were the one who's a little bit not present in the friendship and maybe it wasn't intentional but maybe you didn't care as much as they wanted you to care or didn't notice them as much as they wanted you to notice them so okay i keep hearing the song since you've been gone um and i don't want to hear you okay i don't know the lyrics so i'm not gonna lie um but i feel like this person has moments where they think about you and they've been thinking about how they left or how you left their life um I don't want to lie, for some of you, like, take it as it resonates, either you or this person has been happier since the separation. Um, yeah, they think about the memories, they think about the good times, they reminisce about, like, you know, how things were, for some of you. And for others of you, it's just like, every time they think of you, they're just like, you know, shite. You know, you wasted their time, you weren't present in their life as much as they wanted you to be. Um... It's like everything was all about you. Maybe you were the one who was constantly going through stuff. And it wasn't intentional. Maybe you were always... Maybe, for instance, you kind of had issues at home, right? And you always had something to cry about. And it's just like maybe they felt like it was too much of a burden for them. And that's why they left. It was just like all about you. And you never really took the time to get to know them. Maybe they didn't feel acknowledged by you as well. But for some of you, I'm getting that also they... There, there's a message of like i'm hearing watermelon sugar actually i'm hearing watermelon sugar and i'm getting an image of how they dance on the grass so either you or this person is just like very happy very happy that like you're not in their life but there's also a sense of nostalgia with the six of cups here yeah, where like they 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 think about, and i'm hearing um new amsterdam by what's his name ray no not ray arnold ray fuck i forgot his name but i'm hearing new amsterdam but i think it's rini yeah and so maybe this person does <clears throat> for some of you has like fantasies of just like trying to reunite with the three of cups as well and the three of ones maybe this person does think about traveling and coming back to you and just fixing things but there's also like a sense of maybe i should just let things be the way that they are right now there's no need for me to come back there's no need for us to kind of fix things um but i think the only reason they want to come back into your life is to kind of explain why they left or to have you explain why you left if it if, if you're the one who was like um who decided to leave there's a sense of like apathy within this connection i don't know who but there's like I don't give a damn you know i don't care about you don't come back in my life i don't want to see you i don't want to hear about you um i'm hearing the song triggered so maybe every time you or this person thinks about the other there's like a sense of being triggered like i can't believe you did that to me i feel like either you or this person um and maybe the reason why i can't really pinpoint which energy it could be that both of you are still trying to move on from this friendship or this heartbreak um I heard recently, so maybe this is a recent breakup, as in maybe within the last year or two years. Uh, I don't think it's something that has happened for a long, long time. Um, maybe for some of you, you felt betrayed by this person because they couldn't keep your secrets. Maybe that's why bro code came through. Maybe there is something that was revealed and it was revealed by them when they shouldn't have done that. Because um, I'm hearing... I'll keep your secrets. The song with Alicia Keys and Tony Tone, I think. Um, so maybe some secrets were revealed, and it's just like maybe this person wasn't trustworthy with you. Because I'm also getting an image of the diary from Mean Girls, and it's like maybe someone exposed the truth, and either you exposed this person or vice versa, and that's what led to the friendship ending. Maybe for some of you, it's not that this person thinks about you. It's more so they're still healing from the past and the pain of this connection. And um, it's like they just... But I'm confused by the Three of Cups. I'm, I'm hearing moving on to greener pastures. So maybe it's not that they want to come back to you. It's that they're thinking about like just moving forward from you. Um... 
and it's like this person has been paying attention to their intuition and paying attention to the signs and they know that it's better not to have you here i think this person has just been happy without you honestly or you have been happy without them but i'm not getting a sad lonely oh my gosh i miss you know the other maybe there are moments of regret but i don't think that it's like um anything how can i say I, I don't know i don't think it's like i don't think this person misses you at all to be honest if anything they're just only triggered by the thoughts of you and it makes them think about you but i don't think it's like oh i want to return to power one or maybe you you know it's your energy you're not wanting to return to the other i think you both understand that you had to separate and it was for a reason and you want to let it be i'm hearing the song let it go from frozen as well maybe you just like kind of gave up on one another gave up on the connection because it just wasn't working um and also i'm also getting an image from El from frozen it's like um, Anna went after Elsa, you know, all the time, just trying to get um, Elsa to open up and be honest. And maybe that was the dynamic within this friendship where one was always chasing over the other, maybe for attention or emotional presence or just presence in general. And it's just like, unlike Anna, who just like kept going, I feel like someone here walked away. It's like, I'm tired of being there for you. I'm tired of being the one who's constantly, you know, um, holding your baggage, I'm hearing. I'm tired of the secrets, the lies. I'm just tired and I'm choosing to move on. I'm choosing to just like find somebody else, someone better. You know, yeah. So I feel like, um, yeah, this person was just not willing to melt for you. Because I'm getting the, I just heard Sven from Frozen and how, you know, he said that some people are worth melting for. This person wasn't willing to melt for you anymore. It's like they got tired of it. Or maybe vice versa again because it's kind of hard for me to pinpoint which energy is coming through right now. Maybe the, t the both of you were just tired. So maybe one of you was tired of chasing the other and the other was tired of being in the other one's shadow. You know, I, I feel like there was a lot of misunderstanding within the friendship and maybe even some jealousy or resentment. Um, for Maybe if, for instance, one was popular than the other there was a bit of like jealousy and resentment towards that and the other felt like oh i'm in your shadow all the time but maybe it wasn't intentional maybe the person is just well liked in general you know um and it doesn't have to be that they they were mean and if they were then take it as it resonates but i'm getting just like they were popular and well liked and maybe you got tired of being in their shadow or maybe they got tired of being in your shadow because I, i'm getting it's just like it's weird because it's like if you felt that you were always in their shadow, they felt like somehow they were always in your shadow. I'm getting um, Jennifer's body with um, Megan. And it's like, she was jealous that her best friend was well-liked and everyone communicated with her. And, you know, everyone was trying to be just genuine with her. And she was pretty. And, but like, Jennifer was also like really hot in the movie. But at the same time, it's like people weren't really liking her because of her personality was more of her body and her looks and you know people didn't really care what she had to offer and there was jealousy within that and also i think she had a thing for her best friend so maybe this person fell in love with you like i said with the song um that came through with tyrese maybe this was a lover type of situation where this person did fall in love with you but they realized that they couldn't have you the way that they wanted and so they'd rather just um walk away um divine spirit guides Anything that this person wants to say to Pal One? Oh, okay. We have I'm coming back. Okay. So maybe this person is not just like in their head that they think about, you know. Um, I'm, man, I don't want to lie. I'm not getting that this person is coming back. Maybe it's just like in their mind. You know, I did pick up on that Six of Cups energy, like, this person may want to come back and fix things with the Three of Cups, but I think it's all in their head, you know? It's all like, what would be, what what would it be like if I came back into Power One's life? They think about it, they fantasize, and then they think about everything that they kind of went through, and then it's just like, nah, I I'm not going to go. I'm not going to do anything. Um, Anything else this person wants to say to Power One? And I'm hearing, I don't want to, ooh let go and let god so you know take it as it resonates i'm hearing i don't want to hear you call you know so it's just like um lapis lazuli i think this is 
please i'm not really sure but i think it's about like harmony and coming and friendship as well um so maybe this person does want to come back we are always watching this person is always watching you and whatever it is that you do so maybe if you're on social media they're always stalking your social media i'm hearing stalking specifically because they may have blocked you or you may have blocked them and they kind of use like um i'm hearing boy i want to know why are you so obsessed with me so this person could be like really obsessed or just like constantly checking out what you're doing on your social media i'm choosing someone else okay so it makes sense because even in their mind they, they want to come back like i said it's in their mind but they don't want to kind of it's like they think about it but then they're like nah i'm not coming back so it makes sense then we have past life and i'm hearing a song um <laughs> i hope you find your way na 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 um that's the song i wish perfect was enough for my own heart i guess i'll wait another lifetime yeah so this person is just like nah we'll just have to wait another lifetime for okay all right so we have a rhinestone mm. take that as it resonates um i knew it was you from the start <laughs> you guys i'm being confused <sighs> i am so confused <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so confused. And I hope that we have Inspector Gadget. Like I said, this person is always like stalking you and watching to see what you're doing. FBI type of vibes. They're the other playlist. Maybe some of you have connections to those stars or vice versa. But can you guys understand and see how confusing this energy is? Because we have I'm coming back. All right. And then we have I'm choosing someone else. And then we have I knew it was you from the start. It's like this person is just conflicted. You know, they don't know whether they should come back or not. And I think it's all in their head right now. I don't think, like, they're trying to come back at all. It's just, like, what would it be like to come back in union with you? We do have the four of ones here. Ooh, and then we have the full card. So this person does dream of reunion, of coming back together. Like, so especially with the six of cups, there is an energy of wanting to come back. You know, but it's like, there is resistance as well. So, um power this was your reading i hope that it resonated and that you enjoyed it please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching till i've seen a different reading namaste i thought to welcome to your reading you chose the strength card without wasting time let's get into it i only have 15 minutes um the one spirit guides messages from pal to's ex best friend i'm hearing the song ray army sorry the song by ray army excess will of fortune universe and i'm hearing specifically the lyrics where she goes um make me less so i want more and um if you don't know the song or the video basically my perception of it is how um the industry kind of makes us feel less than for not having what is popular what is trending or what is on the market so maybe this friendship was very um critical i'm hearing where this person was constantly critiquing how you dress how you eat what you eat when to eat um it could have been that they would make you feel less than for just like what you had or who you were i'm also getting that this could have been like um i'm hearing a pledge so it could be sorority sister or brother or like i'm also hearing alpha kappa alpha kappa like i'm just getting like little um i'm hearing little bits of you know from movies that i've seen and i'm also hearing sorority wars so maybe this was like a sorority sister or maybe like a brother that you pledged with um i'm also hearing athletics um someone could have been on an, an athletic scholarship as well or like you got a bursary for like varsity or whatever um i'm also hearing an internship as well but like so maybe this is like a school dynamic um, this is more geared to like school and if you don't resonate to school maybe it's just again the dynamics of like um this person wasn't treating you right man you know um they would constantly critique you they'd give you backhanded compliments like oh you know um the jean you're wearing is really dope but it would look better on me or like you're, you're beautiful but there was always like a but to their compliments with you um oh you do you got great muscles but you know what the girls don't like them on you or you know they make you look i don't know they would kind of like make you feel good but at the same time demean you um 
yeah so this person may have been popular and well known they could have been like a jock i'm getting an image of like you know those disney movies and there's just always that rude um guy <laughs> the jock of the movie that the guy who's popular but he's just like not really nice um yeah that type of vibe or it could have been like mean girls type of vibes where they were actually mean and like in power one in this group they could have been like really mean to you like and um, they could have talked behind your back spread rumors you know you could tell people you could tell this person like confidential um things right but then next thing you'd have someone kind of confront you about it. it's like how did you know you know this person is spreading your your personal business around um this person may have even lied about your health like your sexual health maybe they maybe went around telling people that you had stis or stds or something like that um you know so i'm also hearing the song stay far away by Wizkid, like bad energy stay far away so i think that's just basically a message for you guys to stay far away from this person because as much as you may have thought that they were just like um really nice and just didn't have a great personality or whatever um, they may have been there for you, taking care of you. It was like a codependent relationship with a narcissist. So where, unless you did things the way that they wanted to, they'd like really be mean to you. But if you were kind of like following their rules, you know, like I'm also getting an image of somebody like telling you how to eat, like watch your weight, don't eat this, don't eat that. Why are you eating fat cakes? You know, why are you um, having a donut? Watch your weight, watch your, um, what's it? Watch your waist, you know? Or, or like you, you're not invited to this party unless you dress like this or get your hair done like that or you know yeah this person may have also been like very competitive maybe that's why i'm getting that athletic vibe uh, and they may have been very competitive with you because they were jealous as well all right so the next video guys messages from pal to his ex best friend yeah so this person definitely made you feel less than because i keep playing the song by ray army Maybe they kind of convinced you to buy the expensive stuff just because you wanted to fit in. Uh, we have the Queen of Swords energy here. Just because you wanted to fit in with them, you know. Um, three of Swords in reverse. Um, what was I saying? Maybe because you wanted to fit in, you wanted to have what they had. Maybe it was their body, it was their voice, it was their smile. And it's like you kind of wished back then, world card, um, that you were like them. Anything else? But it's like, this person didn't care about you. But they may have done little things that made you think that they do when they really didn't care about you. And maybe you realized this after the friendship ended. Anything else? Messages from Pau to his ex-best friend. Yeah, this person was just kind of like... Okay. I'm just really drawn to the Wheel of Fortune and the World card. And I feel like this person was kind of putting a stop to any of your growth and your success. Um, whether just like intentionally or unintentionally just by being in your life they were kind of holding you back and keeping you stuck um is there anything else this person was probably like mean as well ten of ones yeah it was just like never enough with the two of swords it was never enough with this person it was just like always um hey I don't even think people like this person that much but you know it was like typical jock who is very popular so everyone kind of does what they say because they don't want to be kind of bullied or pushed to the side um but i don't think this person was really liked that much either and maybe they knew this and so they kept you know that hard kind of queen of swords energy where like you know you're not going to mess with me you're not going to um you know, the Queen of Swords can be graceful sometimes, but most of the time, um, depending on the reading, and with this vibe, I'm getting that this person was kind of like, um, I, I feel like they were just like, cut through for not reason, for no reason, they were like, very defensive, very, um, King of Swords in reverse type of vibes, like, I'm going to, to, um, create destruction because I want to, I'm mean because I want to, I'm mean because I can, you know, I can do whatever I want because I want to, um, and it's like you were the total opposite you know you were just like this kind person who didn't really like confrontation or maybe you still are that person depending um and it's just like this person was just constantly just i'm getting an image of squidward like this person was like i mean i love squidward but always angry you know 
and they would take it out on other people you know always annoyed always just like ah leave me alone and i feel like it has to do with just like they passed i'm getting an image of um courage the cowardly dog what was the guy's name mural and Hustis, right Hustis. there was an episode i think in season one where we kind of understood why he was the way that he is and it was because his mother never really paid much attention to him his mother kind of you know teased him and so maybe this person had a lot of like baggage and very traumatic childhood experiences and that doesn't justify how they decided to deal with it and i feel like they used it on they used you as like a punching bag whether emotionally or maybe even physically um it could have been that you decided to walk away from this person eventually and maybe for some of you you only separated because maybe you decided to transfer to a different school or you kind of ended things in high school um but you definitely walked away from this person i'm getting that you were the one who decided to kind of cut things off this person may have tried to reach out to you but you were like nah fam you know i'm done um they kind of betrayed you and i'm getting this three of swords energy in reverse where you're kind of like and, and i'm drawn to the strength card as well where you're not you're not that person that you were when you were with them or when they were in your life you're like you're different now you know um you've healed from this pain you're coming out of this energy of you know people are going to walk all over me so i think that not to minimize your experience but this person was also there to kind of teach you how to stand up for yourself and i feel like you are the person now where you know how to set your boundaries and you could be this queen of swords energy now where of course like with you it's more like you know i know how to set my boundaries i know how to put people in their place um and not to give them the credit but like i feel like on a spiritual high level they did play a role in this but it was also the work that you put in you know learning how to love yourself learning how to forgive that had kind of just like put you in a space where you know how to take trash out you don't really waste time with that uh, and i feel like this person sees that and i'm saying sees because this person may also keep tabs on you somehow um it could be on social media if you are on social media or through other people um this person also could be doing well from themselves from your perspective if you keep tabs on them um but i feel like they're kind of struggling in a way maybe they're not really maybe they started you know um they try wow life is catching up to them like karma you know everything that they did is kind of catching up to them so maybe they don't have loyal people in their life just as because you were loyal you were kind you were loving to them and they took you for granted and i was like as much as they successful or whatnot there's just not that energy of love and safety and security around them because they kind of mishandled that um, and I'm hearing the song I Hate You as well. So maybe you were drawn to Power One. I don't know. But by Cesar. And it's like, um, used to be solid until you scrambled me, right? So I feel like this person doesn't have that energy around them anymore. And they may still have trust issues. They still have a lot of baggage that they're dealing with as well. But this is more about how they feel about you. And it's like, they see you just like really doing your thing and not really caring. And I'm hearing the song I'm Jealous by Beyonce. Um, so this person could just see you moving on with that and it's just like you finally did it on your own you finally just like standing your ground and it's like i'm jealous you know um i'm, I'm very jealous of you <clears throat> for some of you it's also like a congratulation that you finally stood up for yourself it's like okay finally you know and in a way maybe they do feel like they played a role in that like maybe that's why i'm picking up on that energy where they do feel like they played a part in your growth and it's just like you know i did that i'm the reason power two is stronger power two is more confident and uh, you know this person could be a narcissist honestly um I'm just, I'm, i don't know why but I'm, I'm i'm getting the sense that i should say that i'm seeing the life path number three uh and one so this person this person could also be in a sagittarius or have that in their chart or just give off that vibe maybe they have sagittarius rising as well um but i'm also seeing number 21 and 10 here so you could be around in your 20s um, or maybe it could be 10 years, a decade since you've seen this person. I'm seeing the number 8 as well. Um, number 4 or 5 could also be significant. But, okay, let's see what this person has to say. Oh, we have Atlantean. Um, I'm thinking about water. I'm thinking about healing. I'm thinking about... Like I said, this person sees you healing. Um, and it's just like, I'm jealous. I'm jealous that you're doing this without me. But at the same time, I'm proud of you. Um, this person understands why you cut them off. Like they, I feel like this person is starting to see why they kind of 
don't have a lot of people in their life um this person could be having some kind of ego death experience or, or maybe they had this experience after you left and it was like oh, i finally realized how we have sacred geometry yeah this person could be going through some kind of awakening or or maybe that's what happened after the friendship and where they realized like i was doing this because of that and i heard this person is like now i have to pay for it um it's like maybe they also healing childhood traumas you make me nervous i feel like this the, i'm hearing same screw different cast by whitney houston um this person could still be stuck in their ways for some of you where it's like it's the same script but just like you know obviously with different people they're doing the same thing still or maybe they had to kind of learn from those mistakes like they stop doing that but i think for some of you there's progress and for others of you they're still the same they're still conniving um i'm hearing malignant as well like just like very manipulative anything else i feel like this person have has wanted to approach you as well but it's like um they may have seen you on social media or like huh, on the streets but it's like I, I don't know how to approach how to i like how we're proud to you know react i dream of fucking your brains out um for some of you this person may have a thing for you it could have been that same sex as well where you not you weren't like very even if you're not a part of the lgbtq you know community it could have been that this person was and they had a thing for you but you kind of didn't see them that way see them that way and even if you are like still you just didn't really see them in that way or in that light and it's just like you know they may have wanted to pursue something with you for in the past but it's like um i'm sorry i hurt you you were just not into it you didn't like them like that and I think it was also because you were starting to see them for who they truly were or are still. Abundance is here. I feel like that is for you. Anything else? I want to build a family with you. So I feel like um, it's not more of like the Ten of Cups energy of marriage or anything. But it's more of like I want to come back and build that friendship that we had. Um, they do fantasize of been like having you. I'm hearing a song that's my best friend um so this person does like um fantasize of coming back and just like clearing the air and making things better this person could have been a part of a lot of conflict or the reason why you had a lot of conflict in your past if like you know that resonates i'm getting that they could have been the reason why people had issues with you as well it's like they were spreading these rumors you know we have divine masculine like i said um it doesn't have to be that it could have been a friend it could have been a twin flame as well you know um, and you saw them as a best friend. And then we have fire spirits. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, like I said, I mentioned that. That I was getting that vibe. And then we have earth spirits. Yeah, so, um, I feel like there's more I could say. But I'm like, how many minutes do we have left? Alright, so I'm sorry guys, but we're going to end it here. If there's anything this person wants to say is that, like, um, they see you kind of doing your own thing and they're jealous. And... They kind of still have those fantasies of coming back into your life and just like starting things over and fresh um if you would let them i'm hearing a song by senior i don't know how to pronounce her name is it senior or okay and but it says um um i love you like i never loved somebody um i'll give you things you didn't even know you wanted so this person is like i'm hearing delusional it's like they could be a narcissist man they're just like not letting it sink in that they hurt you and it's like you probably want nothing to do with them um, they probably want to come back and just like, convince you that they've changed. I'm hearing Let Me Explain by, what's this, Bryson Tiller as well. So, yeah, this person is very sorry. I'm getting, but it's like, I, I feel like they're a narcissist. They're sorry on condition. Um, so depending on what you went through with them, it's like, they see you doing your own thing. But now they want to come back, just like a typical narcissist. When you start owning yourself and getting into your strength and your powers, like they want to come back and test to see if you're really that strong. So watch out for this person. And if they come back into your life, make sure you maintain your Queen of Swords energy and just like be not necessarily defensive, but more like um, on guard and like kind of see what this person's intentions are. Don't make any quick decisions as well as what's coming through. Um, so yeah, pal to this was your reading. Thank you for watching. Could I see a different one? Namaste. Hi, pal to you. Welcome to your reading. It is getting into it. Um, I'm getting a wait and exhale type of vibe. Um, this could have been a friend group. Um, or like the dynamics of this friendship could have been within a, a, a friend group. Like, because I'm also getting an image of cheetah girls. Um, and I'm also saying holla back girl. 
I don't know why by Gwen Stefani but I'm also hearing a song Waiting to Exhale by Whitney Houston um there could have been a lot of ups and downs within his friendship but then you were always there for each other but uh, um I heard the song Alia by Ali I miss you um straight from high school you up and left me is what's coming through and it's like maybe things ended suddenly between you and this person it doesn't have to be that you ended things after high school or within high school it could have been varsity it could have been after any time actually um but things ended suddenly between you and this person and they do miss you is what i'm getting um they would like to reconcile but there is a bit of like a betrayal energy coming through where you may have hurt this person and it's like now they have trust issues you know even though they fantasize about you know reuniting and reconciling there's a bit of like hesitancy it's like this person probably thinks that they're better off alone they don't want to trust anyone and and i'm hearing it's because of you i'm also hearing the song by christina aguilera um so because of you you hurt this person it's not like that they, they, they now have these trust issues and it's like you you caused this you know you're the reason why you you hurt them um so yeah let's let's get into it though you did this person dirty is what i'm hearing it's like whatever it is that you did it hurt them really bad that they not only kind of lost trust in you but trust in people in generally in general um you, you could have just like really dropped them when they needed you the most and it's like wow you did that to me i didn't didn't expect that from you you know um divine spirit guides i'm hearing a song by olivia o'brien um what's the song where um she talks about how she used to know somebody but now she doesn't and the scene is like her at a funeral burying this friend um i used to know you but now i don't know you anymore um It's all right, it's very good. So there's a sense of like, um, I don't know you anymore, pal three. I don't know who you are, who you turned into. It's like, wow. What does pal three's ex best friend want to say? Ex best friend messages for pal three, please. <laughs> That's totally okay though. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, we have the three of cups. Four of Pentacles. Okay. What does this person want to say? You are you're like testing me, bro. Um, we have the two of swords. Um and star card. Okay. And I keep hearing everyone falls. In love sometimes, sometimes it's wrong, sometimes it's right. But when you got friends, um, to wish you well, you'll find a time when you can exhale. Shoop, 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 buddy. So we have the magician card. It's pretty obvious at this point that this person, especially with the three of cups, um, there's an energy that this person would like to reconcile. But because of the two of swords here and the four of pinnacles, it's <clears throat> how are we going to do this? You know, the star card is like wanting to come through <clears throat> and start fresh and create new beginnings, especially with the magician card and the death card here and the page of cups and the strength card. Um, it's like I would love to kind of reconcile and, you know, not really go back to how things used to be because that led to our ending, but start start something new between the two of us. Um, create new memories. But with the two of swords here, it's like this in the four of pentacles, this person is still caught up in their doubts, caught up in their trust issues, energy, caught up in how am I going to open up to pal three after what they did to me. I remember, mm, I'm hearing the song I Remember by Keisha Cole. I remember that we had great memories and good times, but I also remember what she did to me. And as much as I want to overlook that and I would love to start afresh and create new energies and it's like i'm i don't think we have that solid foundation anymore i don't think and i don't even know how we're going to build that solid foundation i don't know how we're going to create this new energy between the two of us how do i trust you you know i miss our friendship i do but like how am i going to trust you because you weren't there for me when i needed you how do i know that you're not going to get up and leave you know um 
this person wants to create stability here yeah, with the four of pentacles but with the two of swords as well it's just like they don't really know if they should go with that or kind of like stick to their um trust issues like am i because i'm hearing the song me myself and i this person just they'd rather be alone you know than unhappy and not that being with you would be unhappy but the trust issues would kind of cloud their judgment in this friendship in this connection and maybe you also came through with an offer from this offer to this person and maybe you've been thinking about it as well but there's like i i, I do three of cups in the star card it's like the star card is below the three of cups and it's like ideally things would work out but we do also have the two of swords and the four of pentacles and it's just like how are we going to create this energy you know so it's like i'm battling between wanting to create this new abundance and new connection between the two of us but i'm still caught up in my fears i'm caught up in a hesitancy to to open up to give this friendship a try once again but i want it i just don't know how we do it without trust issues without that voice in the back of my head and it's like this person is probably having to decide um even though the two of swords is about balance <clears throat> it could be that they're trying to balance the reality but, um they're trying to find a balance between the reality and what they've been through with you but it could also just be like they're trying to find some kind of justice energy where it's like they want to create a balance between the two of you and they want to come to some kind of conclusion about this friendship and whether or not it should work out or whether it could work out um the four of pentacles is not really a bad card it's just about like what is this hesitancy what is this fear that we need to address what is this um energy of like i know i can have it but at the same time it's like do i do i still want it but we have the three of cups here and the star card and it's like yeah I want it. I want this abundance. I, I want this connection. I want this friendship. But um, <laughs> Two of Swords energy is like really taking over. Um, this person has to make a decision as well between the two of you. Um, is this person going to choose the to stick to the insecurity or just like, you know, I feel like they're trying to find that balance, that scale. But I also think, because I'm thinking about the Justice card and with the balance of the Two of Swords, it's making me think about how maybe this person is still kind of... Um, before making judgment on this friendship and judgment on what decision to make, this person needs to kind of looking at their options, looking to see, you know, the, the pros and cons. They're still trying to figure out the pros and cons of kind of reuniting or reconciling or forgiving of, uh, or wanting to reach out or even accept your offer if you made one. Um, they're still trying to kind of weigh you the um, options that have been presented to them. And that is the past experience, the new experience, but the trust issues as well. It's like they need to look at all of that um, before making any decisions. But let's see what they have to say, Divine Spirit, guys. Messages from Pal 3's ex best friend. You hurt this person, I don't want to lie. And I feel like some of you, you regret it. But it's just like, because baby, now we got bad blood. Bad blood is coming through by Taylor Swift. And it's just like, Maybe things are just awkward between the two of you. Maybe things just aren't the same. Um, yeah. We have Tiger's Eye. Um, it could be that this person is still trying to work up the confidence and in themselves and in this friendship and try to figure out how to bring things to that Three of Cups energy. So maybe they're the ones who want to make the offer, but they're still trying to figure out, is it worth it? Um... I'm hearing I used to think that we were forever and I used to say never say never but we are never getting back together so this person is conflicted you know two of swords they're conflicted between should I go for it or should I you know I'm hearing should I give up or should I keep on chasing payments so uh, yeah this person is conflicted definitely but I do get a sense that they do want to create this new foundation anything else this person would like to say we have water spirit this person could be a water sign um i think that also is about healing and how maybe the both of you would have to kind of have a proper conversation about what happened between the two of you and basically have both perspectives addressing everything and kind of just like heal and take your time with earth spirit you could you or this person could have like these placements earth energy as well Cancer Pisces Scorpio, um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. 
or maybe this person is trying to heal and find a grounding as well a balance before making a decision Even if i'm hearing a song should i give up it's, it keeps playing in my head we have obsidian so yeah this person is trying to ground themselves is trying to also protect this um protect themselves from getting hurt um and and being misled by their feelings and emotions whether that is either to come towards you or let this go is there anything else this person would like to say should i give up or should i keep on chasing dreams but we have the magician card here and we know that um the magician card is about creation but it's not just about us putting that manifestation or writing it down it's about us taking that action to create that and having that leap of faith um so the fact that it's here as well and i'm drawn to it it could be that this person is working towards that energy we have walk away don't look back all right so can you see that we have conflicting energies um it also um kind of coincides with the song by adele and then we have you inspire me to do better so there's a conflicting energy and then we have buddha it's about like do i create peace between us and, and start over or do i let it go um i'm getting i'm hearing the song let it go by frozen i'm also getting the i don't think it was the final scene but towards the end when anna was kind of like protecting elsa and she turned into ice so maybe that was the dynamic between you and this person it's like maybe this person was always there for you but you kind of shut them out and it's like they don't know if they want to turn into ice for you again you know they don't know is there anything else and they don't even know if you would turn into ice for them we have lapis lazuli which is about friendship and coming together um truth honesty as well so maybe you guys would want to have a conversation like i said about the friendship and what happened and i feel like with this you inspire me to do better card it's that um irregardless or irrespective of what you put this person through like you've always been there for them and they appreciate that it's just that this one time or maybe few times that you effed up it's it's messing with their head we have atlantean and it's making me think about water again and healing and transmutation and magic this person could be into magic as well or maybe they've been trying to use magic to heal um we have connect to the stars especially with the star card here maybe this person is still kind of weighing their options and asking for guidance from their um spirit team about how to move about and 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 what direction you take all right so um we have connected animals with that earth energy as well so this person is, has been just like really taking the time to think things through and weighing their options there's a lot of conflict here um i want this connection but i'm afraid i'm insecure i'm hurt um, i'm doubtful can i trust you so um i don't know if there's anything else let me check the time real quickly all right i'm gonna end it here for you guys um part three this was your reading i hope that you liked it please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe so i see a different reading namaste hi pro four welcome to your reading um let us get into it divine spirit guides messages from power fours experts friend please um i heard betrayal and i'm hearing the song um you broke me first um and now also hearing um consideration by rihanna justice card um let me mm, 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 mm. but most importantly i'm drawn to the lyrics when i look outside the window i can't get no peace of mind when i look outside the window i can't get no peace of mind oh yeah you know Dum. do 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 mm, mm, someone could like tame impala feels like a brand new person but i don't care okay um i'm also hearing <clears throat> i'm also hearing olivia o'brien i know we never said um where we drew the line but i was in your bed almost every night um and i'm also hearing sad songs in december Heartbreak. Mm -mm 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 -mm. and there's also a song by olivia o'brien where she mentions tame impala as well so maybe someone likes um tame impala um, or maybe you may also enjoy listening to alternative kind of music. Um, I'm also hearing indie music. Um, someone here could be a they or them as in pronouns. Um, but I'm also getting she and her, but it doesn't really matter. I picked up on they or them. Someone here could identify 
Um, but I'm also getting LGBTQI flag in my mind, so some of you could be a part of that, or this person could be a part of that group uh, of community. Um, I'm also getting the confederation flag, so that's going to apply to probably one person, I don't know. Um, okay, and I'm also hearing Never Getting Back Together by Taylor Swift. Okay, and I'm also hearing I Got to Do Things My Own Way from Consideration by Rihanna. When I look at someone. So we have the Justice card here, and then we have the Tarot card. When I look outside my window, I can hear no peace of mind. Oh, get in no peace. Get, 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 get. Alright, thanks for that. Messages from Pau. Um, for his ex best friend. I can just hear them now. Seven of Pentacles. Feels like a brand new person, but I don't care. I'm in love. Anything else for powerful? High priestess. I mean, I shouldn't, but okay. I'm gonna take it. I don't know why I just felt the need to kind of do that. So maybe someone is into rap music or maybe you make beats or like, um, I don't know. There's a song coming through, but, uh, okay, never mind. Maybe someone likes to dance and someone enjoys this new to music. Is there anything else? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the ten of ones. I'm hearing disillusionment and the patience card. What does this person have to say to Pal? Um, for all right, so I feel like this um this person is kind of making a decision, or is is forced or not really forced, um. But right now they first faced, 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 faced. By faced, we're kind of taking the time out to make a decision about this connection, about this friendship. Um, I don't know why I'm not, I'm speaking in present tense. So maybe you're still friends, but things are awkward, and this person is thinking about walking away. Um, or it could have been that, yeah, maybe you guys are still friends, and because I'm just I'm getting a present kind of present time. Maybe things are on and off. Maybe it's like maybe it's one of those friendships where you kind of don't talk for weeks, but then you start talking again after like a long time. Or maybe you've lost touch with this person. And you kind of have those moments of losing touch. Um, but maybe this person is like kind of making a decision to kind of um, create a change within this connection and this friendship. Probably ending things between the two of you. Or maybe it's like this person was the one to end things between the two of you. And I'm getting that it's because they kind of had to change things up in their life. Or maybe they were the ones who were changing. And they're just like, not that you are... Well, at that time, you weren't enough. It's just that they were looking for something better. For a better connection. For people who understood them for who they were at that time. Or who they are becoming. Depending on how this resonates. Because I'm getting a present energy. Um, but this person was like more about changing. And moving in a different direction. That was more about themselves and expanding. Which makes sense with the consideration song. Um, where this person was just starting to choose themselves. Um, and that song by Olivia O'Brien. Um, I can't keep my na 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 na. Um, okay, so maybe this person's also coming through to talk about how much they miss you. Um, but it's kind of like they're doing better without you in a way. There's a lot of change that happened within this person's life since you haven't been in it, or depending whether it's present energy or not. Um, and it's like. It's as if, like, you not being in their life kind of made them see things clearly, or, you know, um, and more clear and with more clarity and understanding. It's like, I'm getting an image from the movie with Liam Hemsworth. When they kind of went to that, um, is it the cabin in the woods or something like that? And they were trying to, Liam was trying to kind of escape by riding a motorcycle and then he hit the, the invisible barrier that wasn't, you know, seen. And it's just like, that's the type of vibe. I feel like, um... Whatever invisible barrier between the two of you that was causing some kind of illusion, 
uh, this person is starting to see through it. Or, I don't know why I keep saying starting to see. Maybe it's a present energy, like I said. Or they began to see through it in that moment of a connection before it ended. And they felt better kind of breaking free because they felt trapped is what I'm hearing. They felt like they couldn't be their authentic selves anymore. Um, they, oh, 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 oh. Okay, maybe for some of you, this person came out, you know, um, and it's like, or maybe not that they came out, maybe you already knew that they were a part of the community. And they were not starting to kind of embrace that. But maybe it wasn't in line with who you are or the friendship that... Because I feel like, you know, um, maybe if they were trans or maybe they just identified as they were them or whatever. It kind of was uncomfortable for the friendship because it wasn't something that you were used to. Um, and maybe they felt that and they didn't want to feel like a burden. And they had to walk away because it was like it was more comfortable for them to be around people who made them feel comfortable about themselves as well. And it took them a while before, you know, they made this, this decision. It wasn't like something that was like at a drop of a hat, like, oh, I, I don't want to be with powerful anymore. It was like, I have to choose myself, you know. They had to weigh their options and they chose themselves. They chose growth. They chose expansion in, in regards to themselves. It had nothing to do with you. It was more about them finding themselves and kind of like um, stepping away from the illusion or stepping away from living a life that is not truthful. Yeah, I felt the need to do this. Uh, with the seven of ones, they were more about like stepping and moving into a journey that was about themselves. Oh, um... I'm sorry, I got distracted. I felt a breeze, like, just, like, in my face. So maybe this thing happened very suddenly for you. Maybe for you it was, like, it happened out of the blue. But for them, it was something that they decided they took time to kind of think about, to think through that they wanted to move down a different path. and be. Because I'm getting an, an image of, like, a group of LGBTQ members hanging out together, like, people who have the same you know, type of vibe or community, a supportive community. So maybe this person moved on to hang out or be around those kind of people then, you know, not that it has this person has anything to do, not that this person has anything against heterosexuals, but, um, and even if they are, um, I don't know how to put it, but th there was just an energy of like, I have nothing ag ag against you as, you are different because I'm different. There's no judgments, but I want to be around people that will take me as I am. I'm getting androgynous vibes. Maybe this person, you know, was that um, androgynous or is that? Sorry, um, and they just like they like not being like one dimensional and not that you are not that. This person like really cares about you because I'm feeling a need to explain myself, and maybe they didn't have the chance to properly be like, hey, I I just think that. It would be better for me to kind of cut my losses with this friendship and be with people who I feel more comfortable around. And I think for them, it was from their perspective, maybe you weren't comfortable talking about the fact that, you know, they liked guys and they're a guy. Or they're a girl and they like girls. Or maybe they're into trans. Or maybe they, what if it is that was different and unique from you? Maybe they felt that you weren't comfortable having those conversations. Maybe you didn't have enough of those conversations and it made them feel as if you weren't completely accepting. And so they had to move on. And so with the Tower card, I feel like this may have happened suddenly for you, you know. But for them, with the Justice card and the High Priestess, it's something that they took their time to think about. Um, but they had to make this action towards leaving you eventually. Um, and it has nothing to do with you again. I think what's coming through is, I'm sorry if I made you feel as if you were not enough. But it was more about me wanting to feel enough and choosing to surround myself with people who kind of made me feel that way. Um, I'm here to reach out to me, you know, we can still be friends, but not like friends, friends, because obviously things will never be the same, but like we could talk from time to time, we could still check on each other. Um, is there anything this person would like to say to Pao? Oh. We have connected to the stars. Yeah, it's making me think about uh, the song Bruno Mars talking to the moon, and it's just like, if you ever want to reach out to this person, you can do that. You know, they think about you. They still think about the friendship, the connection. But it's just that they just didn't feel comfortable. They don't want to feel like a burden. Um, they didn't want to feel weird. 
they didn't want you to feel we have lapis and zuri they definitely cherish this friendship um they definitely we have inspector gadget they still keep eyes on you um or maybe you are the one who still keeps eyes on them um whether it's on social media or whatnot we have air spirits they could be air signs gemini libra aquarius we have that on my charts anything else Looks like a brand new person. I don't care. I'm in love. Yeah, I'm insecure. So again, maybe this person wasn't so secure around you about who they were. That's spirits. Um, um, Taurus, very Capricorn. So maybe they weren't very confident around you about who they were because maybe they just felt like you never made this that that space for them. They could never be that safe around you, and. It's again from their perspective. It doesn't mean that you did this intentionally. It's just how they saw things at that time. We have star seed. Take that as it resonates. I'm being sent from heaven by Kisha Cole. We have world peace. This person would probably just want to like sign. I don't know why I'm getting an image of somebody signing a treaty. But they probably want to. Like I said. If you want to reach out it's okay. Um, They'd want to like. Uh, we have connected the stars and star seeds. So maybe this person wants to create a kind of like a peaceful energy between the two of you. Um, divine feminine. So take it as it resonates. And connect to your ancestors. Alright, so there's an energy of just like connecting to the roots of the... And then we have Pleiades. There's a lot of like you know, spiritual energy coming through. So it could be that, again, we have divine feminine. This was like a twin flame connection, soulmate connection. Um, doesn't have to be, but it could have been you guys were so close and so loving that, um, I'm hearing sent from heaven. It was just so beautiful. The friendship, the connection, whatever it is, it was amazing. And it just ended abruptly because this person had to find themselves. This person had to kind of be on a journey of, you know, I'm hearing self-sacrifice. I don't know why, but this person was more about just like finding who they are and it had nothing to do with you. And if you want to reach out, it's totally okay. They wouldn't reach out first because I can, they're insecure, but they do think about you. They check up on you with this inspector gadget um, energy. But yeah, it's so powerful. This was your reading. Thank you for watching.